So what's going on YouTubers, it's Tyler here and today we're doing something different. This is not usual camera tutorials and like that. This is going to be the other half of me which is car shit. And you can see I have these two heads, these are Vortec heads, 062 castings and I'm doing a little port work on them for my buddies. And uh, my wife says I need a garage but uh, I don't see what the big deal is because I have all the stuff conveniently located right next to my computer. So first let's go over the things that we're going to have to use to port these heads. You're going to need bits carbide bits, sanding rolls, and a drill, and you're going to need a die grinder. So let's get started. All right, so first let's go over what I am going to be doing to these particular heads. I've already done most of the work to them. I'm down to the last two ports and one exhaust port that needs to be ported. And I'm not gonna touch the combustion chamber only because he doesn't wanna get a valve job and I really don't wanna go in here and get too close to any of this stuff and screw up a valve job because we're doing this on a budget and it really is opening these heads up so it'll work better with some nitrous applications. So let's go over first the ported one and non-ported one and then I'll get into some of the porting and hopefully that'll help you guys out some DIY stuff. Now remember, I am not an expert. I don't do this for a living. It's more of a hobby thing. So if I'm wrong, you guys can post down below. All right, the first order of business before you start porting anything is you take your gasket and you want to figure out where the gas is going to be on the head. So these are kind of like L2 ones where they snap in, which I do like. And then you can use other stuff, but I use the redneck method, which uh, you take a marker and you just go around the port so you know exactly where the gasket is in relation to the port. So that way you don't over port them and screw things up so you don't get a good seal. Then you have to put you know, metal back in there, all that good shit. So now that's done, we have our marks on there. And you can see this is a ported one and this is a non-ported one. You can see, you might say like, oh, I got all this room I can port this out. Well, here's the problem. There isn't enough material to port to the gasket because these gaskets are pretty huge. So what you want to do, you want to find a happy medium before you break through on the push rod pinch side. And then once you get one ported and you're all happy with it, I make one of these, you can use you know other tools that are more professional, but I'm doing the redneck method. And you just kind of fill in here and you know that's how big you want to make all your ports on the intake side. Now I got the head flipped upside down. What I'm trying to do is uh, get a better view from the light here so you can see inside these ports. And uh, just give me a second here. It's kind of trial and error. And that's not working. Uh, frustration. Any subtle frustration, this always helps. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Let me get out here where we can see it. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna work, that's gonna work. So let me get my little professional tool out here, like I said. And there's a couple places where you wanna port in these. And you see right here on the push rod side, you can only go so much outside, you know, to the gasket line, It'll start breaking through right here. And this is where you gotta be careful. I've actually broke through one of these heads. That's why I know how far I can go, but I fixed that with some welding. So, if you see right here in the Vortec heads, they do have raised runners, but only raised to right here and have this little ski jump thing right here. See, if I take this and put it back like this, you can see that little ski jump thing, and this is not flat. So, first things you wanna do is open up the push rod pinch, which I have done, and if you look at this side, this is where it's been opened up. And if you put, take this and I put it over here, you can see that there's no way. It's just, it won't go in. And that's how we're opening up the uh, volume of air going into the cylinder. And if you look right here, I've leveled out the ceiling right here. And that's nice and flat. So you wanna take that and flatten it out. And I've also gone to where the valves come through. And I've smoothed this area out on the hump so that way the air goes quickly into the combustion chamber. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to do the most opening up on it. We're gonna flatten this out and pull this over. So let's do that first. Okay, I just taped this light up here so it doesn't fall on me. Oh, get your button there. There we go, that's good. All right, so whenever you start cutting on this, it's also important to note you want a mask and you want some protective eyewear because this metal sling out of here at high velocity is not good for your eyes. Protect yourself. All right, we're first gonna use this big daddy. Now 
that's a lot harder to do on camera than I thought. Anyways, okay, so basically what I'm doing, I'm taking out metal on the side and the roof. And the roof, I kind of just eyeball. I'll put this down like this until it's flat. And that's why I know it's flat, flat all the way down to the valve guide. And I will go on the sides and I'll measure as I cut material out until this goes through. Once it goes through like this one, then I know that this particular section is right here and then I start blending and going back into the bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this first and then show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I finished the first pass just opening up this area. It's kind of a rough cut. So what you have here, we have the finished one on this side and I'm gonna check the clearances with my completely professional redneck tool. Those look good. And this side, and basically I cut some out and I stuck this in there, I cut some out and I stuck this in there until both of them have about the same clearance. And that's good enough for a street port. You know, I'm just doing this on the buddy hookup. So uh, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna get good gains out of this. So I'm pretty darn positive. So next, we're gonna work our way in to the intake port. And look at this, look at all that material that's been removed already. That's a good bit. We got some all down here too. I'm gonna vacuum this shit up and then we will continue. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this bit, I'm gonna put it on to Big Daddy and we're gonna work our way back in here and open this side up and blend back. And then later on we'll switch back to the drill and I'll tell you why I switched back to the drill. But first I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do in here because uh, it's very hard to have the camera in there. And I've seen some people do it, they're amazing. I'm not that good, but I'll take this off and I'll show you what I'm gonna do first. If we look right here, this is not flat, it's uneven. And we wanna take this, we wanna flatten it out all the way to the valve guides. And then we go here on this side, and I'm gonna move the metal in this area all the way on back here. I'm not gonna to take too much out. I'm basically, there's a casting line in here. I'm not sure if you can see it, not enough light. There's a casting line in here, and I just kind of take it out all the way to the casting line, because that lets me know that I've taken the same amount of material out here as I have here, because they all share the same casting line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'll show you the results. I'm also using this grinder's grease. Keep stuff from loading up into the uh, bit. It's kind of like a, uh, a wax substance. It's not much, it lasts a long time. You can see I've only used this much right here on these entire heads, and it's like $12, I think. Saves your bits a lot. All right, she's starting to look nice and pretty now. And uh, I'll show you with this guy right here kind of what I did. Uh, once I made that rough cut and just kind of getting the, the raw material out, uh, what I'll do is I will, instead of starting here and going back, what I do is I start from this side right here. And I hit it, and I kind of go back like this. I go up and down, up and down. And then I'll watch the material that I move, and you'll be able to see a defining line as you come up, and you'll, you see now how clean it is after all the carbon's removed. And you come in here and you hit it up, light pass, move the carbon, and you can see that casting line that is from here to here. And then you hit it up again, and you want to do nice, smooth, same amount of movement all the way up. You don't want to go in one spot too much. You want to do nice and smooth and bring all that back nice and smooth. Now for the roof, I did the same thing. I started from here. And I kind of worked it up, worked it up, worked it up, worked it up. And then I would look at it, I would fill it, and I'd do it again. Now a lot of times what's gonna happen is, uh, it's gonna grind more on the sides than in the middle. So what I do, I start from like right here, I turn it kind of sideways, and I kind of just go right in the middle. What that does, it, it prevents it from pulling and digging into the edges, because it's gonna stay more on the sides than it is in the middle. So you wanna kind of turn it sideways, and kind of just go like this. Do the same thing on the other side, turn it sideways, and kind of hit it in the middle. Then you can come back and hit it like this in the middle, and then do your swoops again. And that pretty much gets it nice and level. And the floor, I did the same thing. Did it over here. 
I just went and I just went side to side, side to side, side to side, all the way back and got it blended nice and good. So that's pretty much that. I'll show you another technique I do later on. But now we're gonna move on to the bowl side. First, I gotta get rid of all that metal that's in there. That's a lot of, a lot of metal that I removed. So let me vacuum that up and we will get right onto this guy right here. All right, now before we actually get in here and start messing with the uh, chamber right here, we're gonna do some bowl blending. Actually, we're not messing with the chamber, we're just gonna mess with the bowl. So we're gonna do some bowl blending. And if you look right here, this is one that's already finished. And what I did was I smoothed all this out. The reason we're doing this, you look right here, look how much larger this is to this. And what that's gonna do, I'm gonna explain it to you, because no one explained it to me. I just kind of read some books and figured it out. So air is gonna come in here and what it's gonna do, it's gonna ramp off of this and then it's gonna hit your valve. Your valve sits right here, so it's gonna hit more of your valve. It's gonna deflect off your valve into the actual combustion chamber. So when you take this down and you blend your bowls all nice and smooth and you have the air, see if it comes in here, your valve, this is where your actual, you know, your valve job is and your valve sits right on that. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna deflect off your valve less and get more flow into the combustion chamber, which is what you want to make more horsepower. So we're gonna go ahead and blend these bowls back now. The bit I'm gonna be using is this guy right here. And I know some people say, oh, it's really big, it's, it's scary, you're gonna fuck shit up. Well, I haven't fucked any of these up yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm just gonna go around the edges, and I'm gonna first do a, the main cut with this, and get nice and close in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and grind this guy out and then I'll show you guys what I did. Okay, so now I've opened all this up all the way around. This kind of went around and went around. And I just, you know, did the big cup. Now I'm gonna take this guy right here and I'm going to do a little more fine tuning and go in here. And there's that casting line I was telling you guys about right there. There's that casting line. And it's actually a good little divot in there. And that's kind of what I use for a marker since I don't have all these good measuring tools to see the volume and all that. I don't have a CC or all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go in here and I just kinda of go in here and I get rid of this casting line until it all feels nice and smooth and you can't see that anymore. And that's really what I use as a marker. Let me try to get it here a little better. Hold on, I'm gonna focus. There we go, right here. See that line right there? That is the casting line. And that's what we're trying to get rid of. All right, so now I'm going to abandon the big boy right here because it cuts a lot of metal out fast. And I'm gonna go to my handy dandy drill. This is a lot less speed and you can do a little more fine tuning inside the bowl. So let me do that real quick. But first, Well, it mid out of the way. I'll take these where I can see it a little better. And I'm gonna get to work. All right, now we're starting to get somewhere. And you can see now it's all nice and blended back, nice and smooth. And I've got rid of that casting line that's right there. And next, we're gonna take care of the valve guide. So you can see this is the finished one, this is the non-finished one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip the head back over. I'm gonna come in through this way and get all this smooth and get to some more casting lines right there and zoom in, you can see those. And I try to get those out. I just try to just take them out and smooth it out some. That way I'm taking out close to the same material as I can without CCing these heads. So we're gonna do that and then after that, and go back into this angle again and finish it up, and then that'll be a finished intake. 
Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna go in here on the valve guide and I'm going to smooth it out. I'm gonna go in here and kind of chase it on the edge a couple times. Go on this side, chase it, finish smoothing this area out, bring it back some, and then I'm going to go over the top very, very slightly. And you can see another side. And then we're gonna do this side. You can see how this one is all the way just right to where the valve's gonna come out, right in here. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna smooth all this out. So that way it's not getting in the way of air and fuel. So let's go ahead and do that to this one. And we'll see the finished result. All right, well, all right, that's the finished result. We got it all nice and smooth. The bowl's been blended. And one thing I even want to point out is the short turn right here. It's called a short turn. I've also took this and I've smoothed it out. And I didn't take too much out because I'm not, I don't have any way of really measuring that. But I did cut it here. And when you cut it here, I tend to get that little sharp edge. And then I'll go back in the top. And I'll go back in the top and here, top and there until you can just fill it and get a nice smooth edge on that and all of them stay nice feel nice and smooth and that's pretty much it for the intake porting and next time we'll be doing exhaust so peace out